Good evening, everyone. Joe for Jaspi's Case Breaks dot com with a two box Bowman draft mixer featuring a box of jumbo, a box of super jumbo, and we're randomizing a box of dynasty away at the end of the break. Separate dice roll, separate randomizer. For the break itself though, there's everyone right there. Good luck. No Dodgers. We'll take out the Dodgers. We only sold 29 spots. Let's roll the dice. Six and a three, nine times for each list. Names first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth. Oh, I'm ahead of myself. Rand.org, what are you doing? There you go. Eight. And ninth and final time. Got ahead of myself there. So after nine times, we've got Elijah all the way down to Rory. Who, saw, who just saw the New Orleans Noel replay. That's a very scary injury, right? I think he might have been knocked out when he was in the air, when he caught that elbow to his chin. Six and a three, nine times for the teams. One, so there's only 29, perfect. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And ninth and final time. After nine times, we got the Pirates down to the O's. All right, so Elijah with the Pirates, Michael Gavai with the Braves, Evan, you got the Mets, John C. with the Brew Crew, Daniel with the Twins, Nationals and Blue Jays, Greg with the Indians, Daniel Patera with the Rays, Anthony with the Rockies, Mike Koontz with the Giants, Christopher Loring, you got the A's, Rex with the Cubs, Ashley with the White Sox, John with the Tigers, Thomas Reigns, Reds, Anthony P with the Mariners, Mike Tower with the Padres, Jose Gomez with the Diamondbacks, Ashley of the Royals, Daniel Patera with the Astros, Jose Gomez with the Marlins, DMAC with the Angels, Ashley, Last Spot Mojo, Phillies, Rex with the Rangers, Yaroslav with the Yankees, Ryan Redmond, you got the Bo Sox, Paul Cool Whit with the Cardinals, and Rory has the Orioles for trade. Jose Zapeda saying you were live. You saw it li you were at the game. What did, so? What was the what was the news? Man, that that must have been that must have been kind of scary to see. He was down there for a while. All right, so here are the boxes right here. That's the box of Dynasty that we're giving away. It's the last box of the case. Happens to be box number three, if that means anything to you. So we'll randomize that off at the end. All right. Yeah, Rex, you actually got your Cubs in a random. Believe? Can you believe that? Wow, yeah. Okay, so Jose confirming that Wiggins did elbow that New Orleans. I don't think it was intentional, but New Orleans Noel was going up for the block, and Wiggins was flying in. Wow, caught him in the jaw area. It was unconscious by the time he hit the floor. That's why his head bounced off the floor. Uh, reports were that people were yelling at him to keep his eyes open and everything. That is scary. Well, we'll keep an eye on that on that news. TOBC trade window closed. We'll start with the jumbo first. There's the final uh, printout right there. It's essentially a two box mixer. And of course, the big chase is that box of Dynasty right there.
Man, that is scary. Play, a play like that. Okay, so they said he got a concussion, but other than that, no other further news on his condition. Uh, Clippers 6-0 and on Tuesdays this season. I'm watching the Clippers postgame report. I'll have to keep that in mind. For entertainment purposes only, of course. Oh, what, it, was it a dirty play from Wiggins? It, the replays didn't seem like it. It seemed like he was going in hard, but... It's not, I don't think he threw an elbow at him, did he? I don't think that particular play he was... He was trying to do harm. All right. I know it's a baseball break, folks, but nothing has been happening on the hot stove, so there's not much baseball to talk about, aside from just randomly speculating on what certain teams can do. What about this, Brewers fans? Rory, Brewers to sign Jake Patricka. Yeah? Boom. There's some big news, Rory. You excited about that? Um, all the Dodgers will randomize this. The sec person that's second on the randomizer will uh, will get the Dodgers. I don't think there. I, I don't think there's autographs for the Dodgers in this, or they're very rare. There's Logan Gilbert. To 402, we got recommended viewing, which will randomize left and right. Rory, are you not happy with with uh, the signing of free agent righty Jake Patrika, according to uh, Athletics' Robert Murray? He's on the Brewers' 40-man roster as part of the deal, which is still pending a physical. Thirty years old, spent 2018 with the Blue Jays, logged in 45 and two-thirds innings. Out of the Toronto bullpen. So that's the exciting news of the off season, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, Rory's like, don't care. Need to make real moves. Yeah, I know. It doesn't exactly move the needle. There's Logan Gilbert again to 402. Um, what other news is there? Oh, Rory actually. What do you think about uh, what do you think about this? See, uh, no, not CC Sabathia. Brewers and Giants have reportedly discussed Madison Bumgarner trade. Does that move the needles for for you? Oh, Jose said he could hear the sound of. Sound of Nerland's Noel all, all the way up to the mid level seats. Jeez. There's Matt Veerling to 99, green paper. And your first autograph out of here is Carlos Cortez. Mets, that goes to Evan. Well, Morosi is tweeting, John Morosi of MLB.com is tweeting that the Giants have left the Brewers with the impression that a, quote, a young starting pitcher, Corbin Burns, Brandon Woodruff, or Freddie Peralta, would need to be part of an offer to make a deal on Bumgarner. Of course, that may only be one portion to portion of a paddleable package. 
What about that? There's Grayson Rodriguez, Atomic, Bowman Sterling to 150. That is for Rory. And there's Jameis and Hanna to 499. And a redemption. Any guesses on that redemption, ladies and gentlemen? There's Donis Medina, purple chrome to 250. Rory saying, I've heard all the new prospects from the trades of Roxon and Santana for Corey Ray, for Hiruda. Rory's guessing Grayson Rodriguez red. That'd be nice. That'd be a, that'd be a train whistle. That's a train whistle parallel. Her the Giants are still after Hayward and Hap. Wonder if the Brewers don't take the offer, if that's what they'll offer the Cubs. Some Madison Bumgarner? That could be interesting. Uh, what about Harper or Machado, sign of the dimes? There's Brady Singer, purple paper to 250. And autograph two, Ryder Green. Waiting. Oh, yeah, everyone's waiting on them. Yeah, a lot of everyone's waiting on them. All right. Carter Kaiboom reveals a Chrome draft pick autograph of RY. Grayson doesn't start with R. Ryan Carl Weathers. That's for the Padres. That'll be from Mike Tower. All right, Super Jumbo coming up. Five autographs in this one. And it has those sausage link packs. Mmm, sausage links. And you, you can go to the deli and be like, yeah, I'll uh, pick up some, a uh, couple pounds of Bowman Draft would be great. Where is Harper or Machado going to go? Looks like the White Sox are really making a big move on on uh, Machado. Signing his buddies. John Jay, Yonder Alonso.
But I feel like I feel like we could be on the cusp of a major deal. Something's got to go down soon. Big trade. Monster trade. A monster free agent signing. We need something to happen in baseball, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Good luck, boys and girls. We got Adrian Morejon for the Padres. And we got Ryan Jeffers as our first of five in Super Jumbo. For the Twins, that'll be for Daniel Patera. Boris will wait on Harper like last minute like he did with Arietta. I can see that happening. I think not only that, teams are also waiting too. You know what I mean? Teams are waiting. They're not they're not putting big offers in front of Scott Boris right now. So they're sweating out the players too. Because before, you know, Brewers could make an offer, then the Indians would make an offer, then he'd play them against each other and then drag it out. Now it's like, I think it's a combination of both now. It's like teams aren't aren't putting in. I mean, the White Sox are on the only report of a proper offer, of like an official offer to Machado. Machado's not even a Boris client. So, it's all a conspiracy, Joe P says. Well, that's what that, they definitely was talk about. Let's talk about that this year. A lot of talk about it last year. There's Monty Harrison about about the owners colluding to say, hey, let's not pay these guys this much money, even though they could. What up, bro? Josh, bro. Refractor autograph, 489 out of 499. Yaroslav with the Yankees. Wouldn't be surprised as Joe P. I wouldn't be either. You know, you know what's kind of on the horizon if you're a big baseball fan. What's on the horizon is a new collective bargaining agreement. And if players are sitting here thinking, "Man, we're getting screwed by the owners," you know, we think they're colluding. Things could get really heated in the next collective bargaining meeting. Possible strike on the horizon. I don't think. I think that's like in two years or something like that. It's pretty recent. And I think apparently the sides are pretty far apart. There's Colton Eastman to 499. Sign the dime says I'll put Harper a 7 of 10 in his production value up until this point. I don't like what what's the <laughs> What's the what's your criteria? We got Jason Schroeder. Yeah, but but most of the guys aren't making that. Rory, Rory's like guys on guys making ten million dollars per per year on strike. Makes him giggle. But a lot of these guys, like, what about Jake McCarthy? 
making like league minimum. I know it's a lot more than a lot of us make. But it's all relative, I guess. We can't play baseball. <laughs> There's Michelle, Michael, Baez, it's 250. Just paper. That's true. I guess, yeah, these first rounders do get these big signing bonuses, though. Well, I think if you go to fangraphs.com and you look at uh, value, what someone's like salary value should be based off of off of war, wins above replacement, what other people are getting paid relative to that. A lot of player, a lot of those top players like Bryce Harper are actually kind of getting underpaid. And Ethan Hankins is your fourth auto. It'd be kind of cool if there was, imagine if there was, uh, if there was, if it was more of like a sales job where the, where like Bryce Harper would have to make commission, right? So like if you go to fangraphs.com, And you scroll all the way to the bottom where it says where it says value, that's where you can really, you know, Fangraphs is attempting to assess value to a certain uh, metric, a certain statistical metric, metric statistical metric like uh, wins above replacement. So they're they're suggesting that that Bryce Harper with a three point five war from last year was about a twenty seven point eight million dollar pl player. But you go back to his 9.3 war season, he should have been making $74.7 million, $74 million. That's what he was worth. So what if it was just set, what if it was just set where, where Bryce Harper, <laughs> where every player would just make money based off of your wins above replacement? I think that would be pretty interesting. He would have made $38.4 million last year. All right, and your last autograph is going to be Green Jordan Adams, 76 out of 99 for the Angels. That'll go to DMAC, Darren McKenzie. All right, and that's that, folks. I think that's it. That's it for the autographs, unless we have a bonus autograph. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Any parallels? Doesn't look like it. All right, now let's see who wins that box of Dynasty. All right, well, let's go back to the list. And let's get everyone from Jose Gomez down to Daniel Patera and everybody in between. Get them onto this blank list on random.org. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize that list five and a six, 11 times. Name on top gets the uh, Dynasty. And I don't think there are any Dodgers cards here, but if there are, the second name will get the Dodgers cards. 
Five and a six, 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven the final time. Right? I said eleven? Right, eleven. After eleven times, name on top. Five, four, three, two, dynasty. Ryan Redmond. Boom. Ryan Redmond. You get this sealed box of Dynasty. You can do whatever you want with it. You can open it. You can sell it. You can gift it. It'd be a nice gift. There you go. If you choose to open it, let me know what you get. Congrats to Ryan. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. We'll see you next time for the next break on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.